I couldn't do any of this without my team. Uh, I'm talking constantly with everyone all the time. Evelyn's been been just incredible uh, grounding rod for myself. Uh, Najib coming in and just really showing that we do have what it takes, the professionalism that is needed in the GPA. Um, this is really an exciting time. And, yeah, me. <laughs> so thanks for that intro. And um, yeah, do you have some, do you have a question? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. One second. So um, basically, you know, coming in from Edmonton, this is my first stop on the leaders tour. Uh, we are going to hit all the small towns. We're going to connect with people from all across Alberta. This is how we find the realness. We're looking for true uh, people that care, and that's what I'm trying to represent, and that's why I'm here today, and that's where uh, that's how I move across this province. It's the people that care about their communities that want to stand up and that they're looking for something real. Um, I was involved with some other political parties searching for that real, caring, not power-driven, not agenda-driven, but for the people by the people, and all that amazing, um, you know, all the dreams that we, we care about as far as how we can progress in this province, and we see them talk, and then we see them do different things, and at the end of the day, we need the authenticity, and we need to have accountability within the legislature, and that is where the Greens came in, because we had this ability to show up and to really uh, represent. We don't whip our candidates, we don't whip our votes, we don't tell people how they need to act. We have these six principles, which I think anyone who is good-hearted can abide by. And we move from these six principles into a progressive way of doing politics, something that is different, something that is refreshing, something that is needed in this province. And so that's where I'm coming from, and that's why I'm here today. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be in Canmore, and uh, it's just a really exciting time for the Greens as we start moving into the communities. Um, we've done so much work to sort of get our, our, our background right, our, get sure, make sure we have a professional website and team, and we've done an incredible job of really shifting the party into um, a, the type of leaders that the, the province has been looking for and didn't really know which would step up and exist. And so here we are today. Um, I'm from Treaty 6. It's, uh, it's an honor to be in Treaty 7. We're all treaty people here. And I want to acknowledge today that um, you know we're not really uh, representing the treaties uh, well, and we need to start honoring the treaties, and that means proper dialogue with the First Nation people, the Métis people. And it's time for us to represent, uh, acknowledge uh, that we have a lot of work to do. Um, the Greens acknowledge uh, United Nations Declarations for the Rights of Indigenous People, uh, Section 35 of our Constitution, which means that they have the right to, to self-govern, they have the right for self-determination, and that's why we're talking about land back when we go into those communities, and that's why we are here as allies as well, and I think it's important today that we make sure that we acknowledge that. Um, moving forward, uh, we are building our platform and we are building our focus issues that we're uh, really going to ground into as we approach the election. Um, and that's really exciting. So we're basically looking at four S's in our platform. And so I'll speak a little bit about that right now. And please, uh, I'm open to your questions and, and, and comments. Uh, the first S is safe.